So these are two Japanese style hand cupels made by Sarmat. Here's, here's one of them that I didn't touch. This one I modified, I added hemp wrapping on them. So here's the original one and that one is modified. So you can ignore that one. That one's for myself. This one I'm planning to sell. This bow is 88 pounds at 32 inches or 76 pounds at 28 inches. These are 71 inch length Hankyu Sao bows. A full length Japanese Kyodo Yumi is over two meters. It really depends on the height of the person, but usually around 2.2 meters. These are only 1.8 meters, which is basically my height, but uh, so they're shorter, but they're not exactly half the length of a Kyodo Yumi. 2.2 divided by 2 is 1.1. These are not 1.1 meters. So these are more like 75% Japanese bows. And I actually really like this length because I'm inside and I cannot shoot a 2.2 meter long full-size Kyodo bow. You see, most people when they practice modern Kyodo, they're not shooting historical weights. They're doing about it, it, it really depends on the skill level, but anywhere from 15 pounds to maybe 50 pounds, that's the kind of draw weight of um, modern Kyodo. And that, that makes sense because the purpose is not to uh, go to war. You don't need to. And just like modern target archery, you don't need that much draw weight. And I, I get that. Um, but I wanted something more closer to the historical weights of military Japanese bows. What I find is heavy draw weight Japanese bows are very expensive and rare. Anything near the 100 pound mark or above that, very few people make them. Of course, being not a full size Yumi, you cannot pull it to Japanese draw lengths, uh, at least for Kyodo. So what are hankyus? Well, historically, it seems that hankyus were not used in battle. According to the Japanese literature, it seems like most of the uh, mentions of hankyu are for foreign bows. Uh, like the Mongols, the Chinese, or the Koreans, they would call them hankyus. But they almost never called Japanese bows for war hankyus. That being said, these are not exactly half the length of the Japanese bow. Um, it is possible that the Japanese made bows this short for a very short person. Or sometimes, uh, you know, just to, just because they feel like making a shorter than usual one, that is possible. So I did some calculations based on Japanese artwork, and as you can see, based on the historical heights of people back in the day, and then using that artwork, if we assume that artwork accurately represents um, the length of the bows, which, by the way, is the artistic uh, representation then these lengths are approximately 2 meters or 1.9 meters long based on the average of all these artwork. But like I said, this is artistic representation. This is not archaeological evidence. Uh, I would love to read more about the historical lengths of feudal Japanese bows. Like this one, I, I wrapped it with hemp because hemp, in my opinion, is stronger than rattan for tensile strength, so I wrapped it all along just to reinforce it more. And I've seen Japanese war bows wrapped all the way along. 87 and 32. And ugh, sitting down, it's hard to pull this thing. I'm gonna have to stand up to shoot it. Two pieces of bamboo sandwiched with ash core. is awesome. You can feel that 90, almost 90 pounds. Oof. Ooh. Okay, let's try.
So here you go, and thank you, Bo, Japanese style. А, наверное, не сможешь. Ну, докуда сможешь. Угу. 